What's going on you Texan Landhogs? Today we're doing an updated class setup video. It's pretty much the same thing as the last one, but you know, people have been requesting it again just because of the impeccable timing of my last one, you know, did the class setups video with the FG and then boom, the whole thing got nerfed. Gun got absolutely destroyed. And now I think it's kind of it's definitely not a good AR to use. It depends, depends, right? But as of right now, I don't really think the FG is all that good. And uh, let's go ahead and get this started. It, it is, again, minor differences. So my class setups are pretty much the exact same thing with just a difference in the weapon. So right now, um, I have one STG class. I really don't think it's all that good, especially not in s and um, This might be good for like long range hard points, for example, uh, you know, maybe like last hill on Gibraltar, first hill on Arden's Forest. Uh, other than that, you know, I I don't even know why I have this fucking class. But again, grip, long barrel, red dot, and then uh, right here on the bar, this is my main class. I think the bar is actually now the best assault rifle in the game. I would highly recommend using it. And I think that you really need long barrel and grip on it. I also, I mean, I think, the, you know, if you're not running these three attachments, you're going to get crapped on versus someone who's good. Just because it's it's just, I feel like it's just so much easier to aim with the red dot. I was trying, like, this class last night on a map like London Docks, and I, and I still think you need the red dot no matter what. So, um, basically, same classes, uh, hunkered, inconspicuous, mountain scoped, airborne scoped. Um, right here, I'd probably run a armored, armored bar just with scoped. Same thing. Um, something that I thought about since I'm playing, I keep going back and forth on sensitivities. I feel like five five is amazing for subs, but four five is amazing for ARs. And I think that since I'm sort of like the switch role, we're sort of ha having a role crisis right now in terms of you know playing and and team scrimming and stuff. So I actually want to try this on maps like a, like a CTF map, right? But I'd run inconspicuous. And, uh, or just any time I use a sub, I might try to use infantry just for the higher strafe speed. And I think, you know, that might actually help because I'm playing on a lower sense, so it'll be a lot easier to aim. Um, but yeah, quick draw, grip, long barrel on this class. And this would be the class if I didn't have that. Might use long barrel. I, I, w I still don't know about that. But other than that, guys, you know, there's not any huge changes other than just, you know, same attachments, but with the bar and not the FG. So anyways, guys, quick update video. So sorry about the timing of the last class setups video, but what can you do? You know, usually I think we knew about the patch about two or three hours before it hit. So, you know. Oh well, okay. So, bar. If you're an AR player, use the bar. If you're a sub player, still use the PPSH. You might want to use the Thompson on certain hills, maybe on a map like USS Texas, S and D. But other than that, I think the PPSH is still the best sub. MP40 still not viable. I think part of it is because of how slow it actually zooms in, and I think that the PPSH is still just a better. It's better at range. It's better at you know, close quarters. I feel like even the hip fire might even be better. You know, I don't know. I just feel like the MP40 is still not, not that good. Thompson is sort of like the Scorpion, just certain hills. It's really good. Certain hills. It's really bad, but the PPSH is good on pretty much every single hill. So yeah, quick video. I'm going to be doing another video today. Uh, probably a rank play. I'm at my 3000 MMR game. So um, I think I'm at 2,993 right now. Other than that, guys, thank you guys for watching. And uh, be sure to hit that like, subscribe. Tune into the next video for some rank play.